Welcome. The wide body fender on the Mustang has gotten a lot of love. Thank you guys. Unfortunately, I haven't made much progress on it at all. And this video is not going to be about doing the fender. One of the reasons that I didn't get to do anything on the fender is because I went down to North Carolina and got myself a trophy for winning cam class uh, last year down there. So really, this is a cool little trophy with the light and everything. This video is gonna be a quick kind of update, status update on uh, everything that's going on. A couple of videos ago, I mentioned that I wanted to go to Ponies and the Smokies. Since that video, they have released another event king of the Smokies that they are doing at Ponies and Smokies. And I am one of five cars that have signed up for it so far. So really, really looking forward to that. We'll dive into uh, the other cars, but first let's talk about king of the Smokies. So it's kind of like Ford Fest and Autocross Week all wrapped up into one event. It looks really, really sweet. So starting off on like day one, it's doing the shine run where we have to like drive to different locations to get a picture of the car and you get a card or something like that. Uh, so we, we'll do that, we'll drive around. I looked it up a little bit. They haven't really, really released uh, too much of the places other than Tail of the Dragon we have to drive to and that's about 50 miles away. So I know it's at least 100 miles that we need to drive. Uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll see. It's not really a road car, but it is street legal so we'll We'll see how that is goes. Um, then we'll be doing autocross and start stop. Then there's drag racing and also a dyno. And then we'll also be doing a car show. So we'll see how, how the car really does in those, you know, it's just a 306 under the hood. So the dyno is eh. drag racing. I've only done drag racing at Ford Fest and we went like a 13. So. We'll see how, how that one goes as well, but it's just trying to get the tires to, to hook up and, and go. I, from Ford Fest, I knew that I needed to raise my launch RPM. I didn't really have the time to do that. I did have my computer, but I didn't have it at the, down at the drag strip to be able to do that. Uh, so we'll need to play around with that a little bit. Uh, but yeah, there's not a much time left before uh, Ponies and Smokies. It's mid-March. So we got less than a month and as you can see still got a lot of work to do so i don't know if that will be done by king of the smokies it would be really awesome to be able to get the fender done that will probably really help for the the car show portion uh because otherwise i mean there's not too much crazy you know about this car it, it does look good from afar but up close uh, she is showing some wear from uh, cones and things like that. I'll see if I can try to get those cleaned off, but I haven't been very successful in just uh, washing the car. And this is a wrap, so I don't really know how much I can actually do to clean it. Like, I, I don't think I can clay bar it or anything like that, but we will see what we can do to, to spruce her up a little bit to see uh, how we can do with that show. But if any of you guys are going to be there, I don't know how the car show portion works if it's voting or anything like that but definitely come check out the king of the smoky cars and try to uh, help me out try to see if we can uh how well we can do it's five cars so let's take a quick look at those other cars because they posted a picture on their instagram so if you want to go check out the instagram photo on your phone as well it's uh ponies and the smokies on instagram i believe take a look at the pictures in the instagram post there's two S197s and two S550s, which both look to be like uh, GT500s. So lots of horsepower. So they definitely will be gunning for the, the dyno and the drag racing uh, events. The one of the cars looks like it has a banner that says drag racing. So maybe he's more geared towards uh, drag racing than uh, the autocross portion. Feeling partially confident looking at the other cars that are going to the event. Uh, I'm just a little, you know, garage built car, but autocross and the start stop, I, I feel pretty good in those ones. The other events, we'll, we'll have to see how those go. As far as the car, as I said, still working on that uh, fender. I've made up a list of all the things that I need to do to try to get the car ready uh, by March. So still, Still quite a bit of things left to do on that. Still waiting actually on some parts to arrive for a few of those things. 
Uh, I've kind of also dialed back on some of the things that I was trying to do just because I want the car to be one, reliable, two, predictable. So I was making some changes and I don't have any events really to go to do any kind of shakedown. So this is gonna be like one of my first events of the year. Uh, so I wanna go in kind of knowing how the car is gonna feel and everything like that. So try not to make any big suspension changes or things like that. So I've kind of dialed back uh, some, of my, some of my goals, some of my, not goals I should say, some of the projects that I was trying to accomplish on this. But yeah, quite a bit, a bit of a, a list. The biggest unknown that we have on there is the brakes. I changed out the brakes to a big brakes on the car. So that is my biggest unknown. Hopefully they go really well. I am gonna bring um, a lot of the parts with me. So if I have to swap anything out to old spec, just to be able to do as well as I can, because I think this event has money uh, for, the, for the top place. So winning some money would be awesome. This event was also a little expensive to uh, register for. So we want to uh, try to do as best we can, as I said. Uh, this is just a quick little update video. If you guys are gonna be at Ponies of the Smokies, definitely try to come find me, find the car, cheer us on. But with that, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one, later.